Hey guys, um, I want to show you how to safely um, attach a CO2, a dual state CO2 regulator to a, uh, a CO2 tank. So the first thing you want to do is um, turn the knobs all the way to the left. You know, until it stop, right? It stop here so that um, you shut down the second stage. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, your needle valve um, have it about 10% open don't don't close this just about you know one or two turns to the left and then um, you attach it to the tank so I'm gonna place the foam down here hopefully you can see Okay, and a uh, CO2 washer. Always, always use this. Otherwise, you have a leak. Put it in here. And then, set tank here. You attach the regulator to the tank. Now, hand twist it all the way to. The two ends make connect. And then you use a wrench. Um, what I usually do is uh, tilt the regulator about uh, 70 degree or 90 degree upwards. And um, with one hand you hold the regulator, the other one you turn the nut. Give it about like uh, one or two turns. Right? And then you let go of the regulator and you turn it down. So by doing this, you get a, a, a straight angle all the time. So now, regulator attached to the tank. Um, the next thing you want to do is um, turn on the, uh, the tank valve. So now you turn it on. Now it's reading a full tank should be read about 800 psi. So you have to set the second stage closed. So now you only see this. Um, the CO2 is in the first stage. Now you open up the second stage and set your output pressure to the the amount that you want. So I usually for a CO2 reactor I usually run about 20. So you turn it to 20. Uh, that go up more in a little bit. I turn too much. So um, so that's how I usually attach a regulator to the tank. And uh, just follow these steps every time you, um, you take out the, 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 the regulator to refill your TO2. Just follow these steps. Um, and that's it.